Okay, let's try this. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming. And we are playing this game on insane difficulty. The zombies run all of the freaking time. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this our access up into the base here. Um, But we're going to go back this way. And uh, get all the way up on the roof here. Because I have... Um, a nerd pole right there that we can use to go down and get those frames back in the process. So, what if we jump up here, hold those down to there, and then just do this. Alright, now, can we get down without anybody detecting us? You know, I don't have any spikes on me, do I? Well, we're going to have to rely upon our AK, then. These guys are really close, aren't they? Okay, let's just go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, yeah, we're going <clears> to... <throat> we need we need those guys to clear out of there before we can continue working on that base. So let's let's just leave. Uh, we need to we need to go back to our our first place um, and make some repair kits because all my tools are broke. Well, most of my tools are broken, and we need to focus you know turn our focus towards Horde Knight right now. Uh, which direction do we need to go? Yeah, that way. Oops. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Do this. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That is not good. I don't think I can get away from her. She's pretty damn fat. Oh, shit. I don't want to run into somebody else in the process either. Okay, we don't have any spikes, so... Is she dead? Yeah. Oh, no. We got somebody else's attention. <laughs> Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy's pretty fast. Let's just see if we can maybe get away from her. I'm not expecting that we will. She's generally one of the faster ones. You know what? Let's run until we are almost completely out of stamina and just see what happens. She's still after us. We turn around and take her head off. There we go. Okay. I mean, I don't... I only have 16 rounds left in this thing. So I do not want to shoot it if I don't have to. Whew. Okay. All right. So, name of the game. We got to get some wood. And we got to get... Some fiber to make a bedroll. Well, let's not worry about the bedroll until we get back to that base. But we need some wood. We should probably think about... I think it would be a very good idea, in fact, for us to... Put another point in uh, here, too. And that's in the Fortitude Tree, which we're planning on doing anyhow. So, that's on the list. Yeah, there's easy money here. Off with his arm. Right in the noggin. Okay. Okay, so we need wood. We need wood. And we need to be working our way back towards our, uh, our first base. And it is Horde Night, too, by the way. Well, no, it's the day of Horde Night. Horde Knight's Eve. 
Fortnite Morn. Your footsteps somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to start carrying repair kits with us now. So we have a lot of equipment and none of it's really very durable, so we're gonna have to start doing repairing. You know, another thing that's on the list is um a forge. It's too bad the forge at the trader didn't actually work. The workbench and the kim bench works at the trader, but not the forge. All right, we should make some more spikes with some of this wood. Okay, somebody was over there. Let's skirt, skirt around and go this direction. Nice. I'll take duct tape. Yes, indeed. Useful stuff in this game. And in the real world, too. Okay, let's put these down here. Don't need that stuff right now. Alright, guys, so... Hmm, what time... It's, uh... It's about 8 o'clock in the morning... Yeah, I think the very first thing we need to do is get a horde base secured. And I guess the question then is, do we want to take a load of stuff back to the new base and then secure a building over there, or do we want to stay in this first town and find a place? I think we'll do that. I think we'll we'll grab a load of stuff, we'll go back to our new base, get our bedroll set down over there. Hopefully the Ze Zeeks will have cleared out by then. And then we will, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the power station as our, our day seven horde base. Um, so we got to get it, uh, if we're going to do that, what we have to do is we have to get to the, uh, there's some stairs we're going to have to bust out and they're going to be concrete. And so we're going to need some repair kits so we can use our iron pick to do that because otherwise it's going to take a lot of, a lot of doing. All right, let's grab this, and um, we need duct tape for repair kits, and we need these ingots. Where are the ingots? Here we go. The ingots. Okay, so let's get those going. I'm going to take this cooking pot. We'll leave this one here uh, for, for now, just so we have kind of like a... You know, a backup location to cook with if we need to. Uh, let's take about half of the snowballs. Not that we really necessarily need to, but, you know, because we have that little water tower right next door to us. Oh, uh, all right. What else do we want to do? What what should we take? What's the priority here? Uh, oh, we got we to gotta pick their Ananax that have some durability left on them and a shovel. So that's good. Um, broken glass. No, we don't need that stuff at all. We should probably think about maybe making some cobblestone. Uh, recipes. Flagstone block. We can only make 26, though. and But then we would want to upgrade them to cobblestone. So let's make maybe 10 of these. And we'll keep the rest of that cobblestone upgrade. Now, I know I can farm up some more, but I just, you know, I need to be kind of careful of my time here. We'll grab those shotgun shells. Uh, we don't have a pistol yet, so the pistols rounds are not really doing us any good at the moment. Um, so, again, I'm just kind of trying to prioritize what we should be taking over there with us. We could take the hammer for building and upgrading. I probably, you know, though I probably am not going to leave anything here, <clears throat> except for, you know, maybe the, the cook stove and just a few, a few things. So let's take any, you know, building materials that we're going to need. 
uh, I think we'll take the T. See, we're already encumbered, even just with this stuff. The paper we don't need right away. Um, what else do we not need to take over there right now? Yeah, I think this is okay. Because we got, we got enough food to last us for a while without getting sick. Um, we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll set up a, a campfire when we get there. And we'll have this cooking pot to use. What about jars, though? I do want to take... Uh, do I have any more empty jars in here? Oh, you know what? I think I must have left those at the other base. All right, that's fine. Oh, you know what? We got this yucca juice, too. Okay, that's about as encumbered as I want to get. Now, what should we absolutely repair right at the moment? I don't actually really need to repair anything at the moment. Uh, so let's hang on to those seven repair kits, because that's all we were able to make. This is cement, not concrete mix, so we couldn't actually lay those down and upgrade them uh, without making the concrete mix itself. Okay, let's go ahead and take the honey over there and the goldenrod too. It does leave us pretty damn encumbered though, doesn't it? All right, well, you know, we don't need the plant fibers. Um... We really don't need the snowballs, you know, because we've got a, wa a water source over there. So let's leave those here. And I think I think I want to take everything else with us. Okay, so I'll come back and get the rest of this stuff off camera later on. So let's scooch on back over there. Because, you know, Horde Knight's going to be upon us before we know it. And I want to uh, I want to be ready for it. I don't want to be, like, scrambling at the last minute. Too stressful. Okay, where's our where's our little base at? It is uh, over here somewhere, I think. Well, let's just go that direction. We'll figure it out. I'll bookmark it. You know, this this we probably should repair. Let's repair that because, you know, we, we, we don't want it to break right in the middle of combat. I think we still have enough on the AK and the shoddy, you know, for a couple more encounters before we have to really worry about repairing those. Am I going the right direction? Yeah, more or less, I guess. <laughs> more or less. I had my, my backpack last time to guide me. We should probably eat to get some stamina cap back here, so let's do that now. And we're just going to scrap this can. Let's take a, a drink of yucca, too. Yucca gives you a lot of water, even more than the red tea does. But the red tea, of course, has a, other benefits. But uh, yucca's good stuff. And I don't think I don't think you have food poisoning from this. Nope, there's no no risk of food poisoning. That's a, always a good thing. Let's just move around this way. So yeah, I think the power station will be our... Oh, there's a thing of coal. Well, we'll grab that later. Might be a bad idea to bookmark that, though. Um, that it right... Yeah, right there that we're looking at. Uh, well, I guess we'll use the little cave icon. Sort of kind of indicates a mine. Because I haven't really seen a lot of that around. I've seen several iron stones. There's a bunch of shale in the desert area. A bunch of lead all over the place, like right there. But I haven't seen a lot of coal, so we'll mark that. We'll come back and mine it later. Okay, so it's 9.45. we got to get moving here, guys. We have got to get moving, y'all. Hopefully we don't run into anything nasty. Oh, there's coal right there, too. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's more plentiful than I realize. I just need to look for it. Okay, so this is where we're going to do Horde Night, here on the power station, on the roof of that. Um, But let's go, let's go drop some stuff off at the, the new base first. 
There's a bookcase right up there. We'll have to hit that at some point. Hopefully there's not not a bunch of Zeeks around right now. Where are we going? I think we're going uh, over here, right? Somewhere over that way. Yeah, that's the waterworks right there. So we have access to water in that location as needed. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> I was like kind of watching the buildings and I wasn't paying attention to him. Alright, this guy's not super, super fast. I mean, he's fast, but not super fast. So I think we can kill him with our boat. We need to get that next point in the archery. That kind of looked like it went right into his head, but apparently it didn't. Oh, come on. What the hell? That went into his head. He got a whack off on us, too. Yeah, I don't want to waste any ammo right now. I have precious little of it. I don't know, did that last one hit? Okay, let's try this. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love that. You gotta love it. <laughs> oh, all right. <coughs> That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That's how you do it. Okay. Let's get managed up here. Um, alright. Our place is, uh... It's, it's right by the Shotgun Messiah Factory. Right across the road from the Shotgun Messiah Factory. So I think it's right here. Because that's the Shotgun Factory right there. So let me go this way. Right where we got. Oh shit. Zambies all over the place. I swear, man. Alright, where's that damn shotgun Messiah factory? I'm all, all turned around here. Uh it is. There's the oil company. Oh, it's way over there. Hmm. Okay. There's zombies all over the freaking place. I don't want to get uh, businessman's attention. He is fast. Where's my rocks? You go that way. Woke somebody up. All right, so we must be... I should have bookmarked it, man. I'm like all turned around now. I think it's this building here. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So let's go back this way. Because we're like right across the street from the shotgun factory. We'll get the looting later. Um... There's a lot of a lot of fun looting in Alpha 18, but we're just not at the point yet. But we're quite ready to do that, but we'll get there. We will get there. You
You know, there's the apartment building, too. That wouldn't be a bad place to... To do a horde night. I've done done it. Oh, horde, night. horde night's on there before. Where in the hell is our place at? I'm, like, so turned around right now. Is it that building right there? I thought we were, like, right across the sea from Shotgun Messiah. Hmm. There was also a... Wait a minute, there's not like two shotgun messiah factories in this town, is there? Oh, is there real? Is there? Is that... Wait a minute. Are there really two shotgun messiah factories in this town? <laughs> yeah, I think this is our building here, you guys. And I think there's two shotgun messiah factories in this town. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, there's that one there. That's actually pretty cool if there are, because we only have two that we can... We can loot. Go through... No wonder I was so turned around. <laughs> I was like going, what the hell? All right, we need to uh, get some stamina back here. We better pop another one of these. I just want to, I don't want to lose too much cap there. Okay. Yep, there certainly is. Look at that. There's another shotgun beside factory right there. That's amazing that there's two of them in the same town. Okay. So we want to go over this way. Stay away from the Landmine place. Very cool. Very cool. Cause I was I was like gonna say it, I, I could have sworn the Shaka Masai factory was right across the street from our new place. But there it was like nowhere around there. Okay. Yeah, there's the there's the water tower with the water source in it for us. So let's let's actually bookmark this for realsies here. That way we don't get lost again. Okay, so what I'm thinking we'll do for getting up there is we're probably gonna make like a little platform. We're not gonna do this right now because we gotta get ready for Horde Nine, but we'll make like a little platform maybe up to that level. And um you know, maybe make a ramp to jump to it or something like that, and then then we'll just have ladders going all the way the rest of the way up. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna nerve pull up there. And it sounds to me like there's no Zeeks around. Okay, so there's the second drop. We, we I never did, by the way. I never did find that first drop. That's not very far away actually. Not far at all. I would say, judging from the distance, I would say it's probably right about in here. Ish. Alright. So let's mark that as drop two. Uh, I still might go and try and find drop one at some point. It'll be there. They don't disappear. Um... All right, so let's see. We want to be one block out. Right there. So one of the reasons why I want to get the bedroll set down right now is because that'll stop 
Yeah, any new spawns. Oh, not good. Oh, man, I was not paying attention. Old guy, sometimes, man. Sometimes you are just a piece of freaking work. We did not need that to happen. <sighs> That's probably a full-on broke leg, too, isn't it? Yep, it sure is. Oh. Was completely not paying attention. All right. Well, we got a deal. There's no freaking vultures around right now. That was unfortunate. Let's try this again. Well, you know what? We need one of those, too. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. I can barely jump now. Yeah, I was like completely thinking about... Oh. <laughs> I was completely thinking about the... Uh, I guess the airdrop. I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about. Oh, we were talking about the bedroll. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, no sense in belly aching about it. Let's just deal. All right. So we really ought to put the bedroll more out here so it covers a little bit more of an, a larger area rather than inside where I originally said I was going to put it. So let's see. If we stick it here, it's going to pretty much cover all the way out to the edge of the building there. I'm not sure how far out that way it's covering, though. Uh, here, let's... Let's move it in to about there. I wish I could tell how far it's covering on that side, though. I don't see the the marker. Okay, there it is right there. So that looks like it's probably out on the street, but it's, yeah, I think that is out on the street. So we could put it in line with this... Uh, this little strip here, but then also carry it over this way some more, too. It's really cool that they show us that now, though. I like that. I like that feature. All right, let's just put it right there. I think that's going to cover the majority of the building, and particularly the, the part where, where we're living in. Okay, that's done. Now, shit, shit, shit. Do I have... Oh, I do have duct tape. Okay. So we should be able to make a splint. What do we need for that? Blip. A splint needs cloth, wood, and duct tape. Okay. So at least we can make one of those. That's going to be good. Let's put that on right now. Okay, let's drop off some more stuff here that we don't need to be taking with us for the horde base. Um, I'm going to keep these flagstone blocks, and actually I want to keep that cobblestone too. We have a hammer. Where is the hammer? It is here. Okay, so we're going to keep that for building. I'm going to take the red tea with me. Let's take another bandage. Using up all our damn bandages because of my stupidity here. Alright, so we, have, we still have a full stack, so that's good. Um, let's see. Do I want to keep this now or not? We can put the water jars in there for the moment. That gets us unencumbered. You know what I think I want to do first, guys, before we go? Um, can we make more repair kits? Uh, we can make one more. Okay. Let's, uh, we'll keep the rest of that forged iron in there. Let's go see if we can open that safe, just because it might give us stuff that we can use. Uh, for Horde Knight. And we'll grab this axe here. Break this down. And it is, oh shit, it's already almost 1.30, huh? Okay, well, let's just do this really quick.
and uh, and then we'll go. Shut up, timer. They said something in the in the patch notes for this next build about lockpicks not something about lockpicks not breaking or something. I don't I didn't quite understand what they meant about that. Look at that. You've broken your lockpick. Really? Wait a minute. What? So we got to start. Oh, okay. No, we don't have to start over. But what? Why? Why is it? Huh, I don't know. That was weird. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we got a little bit better durability spear. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's let's just do this for now. This is this is just temporary, of course. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it like that. You know, we could keep this one too, and then we can could use it to throw. The this one looks like it's in just a little bit better condition, so we'll put that one in there. Can we sell that? Yeah, but not for much. Uh, all right. I think we need to get scooching. We got food. We got stuff to drink. Uh, oh, let's keep the cooking pot here. We don't need to take that with us. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Um, we are out of time, too, by the way. So uh, we're going to end this episode here. And uh, here, let me pause the game. The clock's ticking. And uh, so we'll start up the next episode uh, pretty much right here, right where we left off. And we will get the... Uh, Get ready for Horde Night 7, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that I'm going to be out of town from October the 14th through October the 23rd. And I may not have videos out the last few days while I'm gone. I'm on a business trip and a small vacation with wifey in Vegas, okay? Um, so, yeah, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.